Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Firstly, happy Holi to all of you out there. I hope you are celebrating Holi with colors. You are celebrating it safely. Yes, guys, I am obviously late for publishing this video, but I was super busy the whole day. And if you can see on my face, I haven't played Holi just because I have a kind of allergy with colors, and I actually won't play uh, colors ka Holi. But otherwise, the Holi puja is something I have already done. Today's day was like. Um, not a play game for me but uh, yes I just thought of posting this video on this occasion so that I can wish you guys a happy holy and yes this is not going to be a DIY week or a how to week obviously but this one was an requested video since so many days and I was like postponing it due to some of the other reason but you know this time I just thought that even the summers are in, in India so we should get already prepared for the summers and you know this is a major part in India because summers are like too hot here and we are like each time if we are traveling if we are working you know at that case this one is very useful because I used to do this and I just thought of sharing with you guys so this is going to be a how to wear scarf on bike or you know while traveling or in summers so this is going to be five different types of a scarf wrapping techniques. So this is going to be on your face and basically I am going to show it uh, preferably for bike or for a vehicle. Uh, yes, this was a requested video and the person wanted to share this technique of wearing or tying a scarf for bike on that kind of purpose. Guys, um, let's get started with the video and let's start with the first technique to take this big scarf and um, just because I'm going to cover my head and my entire face you really require this kind of a big scarf and not the small one because that would be again an issue to cover entirely your face and your forehead and that kind of thing so this one is a big length scarf this is a kind of a rectangle one and firstly what you need to do is you need to take the two ends and bring it together like this so these are the two ends and I'm going to bring it together like this. You need to catch it like this. You need to like um, make it together like this from this end and this end. And what you need to do is you need to take it like this on your... Oh my god, my lipstick is going to get spoiled. But anyways, so you need to take like this on your um, face. And if you have a big length scarf like this, you can even tie a knot uh, behind or if not, you can tie a safety pin behind but for my thing, knot is preferable because this one is a big scarf. So guys, yeah, this is it. Uh, you need to take it up on your ears. I mean, you need to cover your ears entirely. And then what you need to do is these are the two ends uh, beneath and you need to catch up the front end and you just need to take it like this and you need to make it cover entire of your forehead like this so when you have the beautiful borders uh, this come perfectly like this and you have just the uh, eyes open and entire of your face your ears and everything is closed now uh, you get this big thing in front as well as in back this is the first one what you can do is uh, after wearing sunglasses on this entire of your face is covered let me show you that as well and voila so uh, in this way you can um, cover up your face and go on bike and you know the dust, the air is not going to affect uh, your, you and your face. Also the sun is not going to affect you and your eyes are equally protected by using the sunglasses and you are easy to go. So guys my hairs are like a mess but okay let's start with the second one. I have already tied my hairs just because they were coming in middle but okay. So what you need to do is, again you need to take the end of scarf like this, you need to fold it up a bit and then you need to tie it like this again around your face. Now 
let me tell you uh, giving a knot behind is always preferable because this makes your scarf tight and you know you can tighten it up as per your requirement if you want to lose one you can do that so okay so i have got this one end short in front now i'm going to take this big end which is beneath the short end like this like this i mean the scarf is like this and i'm going to take it like this and i'm going to put it like this this is on your head what you need to do is you need to take this section behind your ear like this you need to pull the other end like this just to make it tighten you can even take this section behind your ears and pull it like this wrap it around your neck and then adjust the front section as per your requirement again you have entire covered face and if you want you can have a knot here just to make it a bit of tight and to keep it in place so we are done with the second one and let's start with third for the third one what you need to do is you need to take the scarf lengthwise and just bring it like this together and put it like this now this is my favorite method just because i was i used to do it when i was in my college days so yes what you need to do is you need to take the two ends behind i just put my scarf on my head and i just got this tighten up by taking the two end behind my ears like this and now i'm going to take any of the end like right or left whatever is comfortable for you but for me it was the right side which was comfortable so i'm going to take the right side which looks like this and i am going to make a fold in the middle like this like this and then we can tie it up like this also have the left side remaining of the scarf so if you don't want to leave it like that you what you can do is you need to take it from beneath of the right side and then pull it back like this and you can plug in inside again just to tighten it up like this and if i will show you from beneath it looks like this so well i am easy to go and again putting on my glass you need to put it from this gap with this was a favorite style i used to do it every day almost every day and yes we are pretty much done with the third one yes guys so let's just start with the fourth one and for the fourth one what the major thing you will require is a safety pin now this is something now this is something we usually have ladies usually have it make it together like this bring it back like this you can take um left side ka small end and you can pull it as far as the length is concerned and then again you need to put the scarf like this on your forehead take the ends behind the ears like this and you need to take one end now as i told you i am okay with the right one so i always take the right one so in this way you can take this end like this and roll it on your face as far as you have the scarf length like this and now um, if you are pretty much done with the length you need to tie the scarf like this with the safety pin here and that's it we are done with the fourth one 
let's get started with the fifth one so guys for the fifth one you need to again take your scarf like this put it on your head and i guess this style is um more similar to how the muslim women wear their scarf i don't know how they actually do but it seems to be like this so for this you are again going to require the safety pin but what you need to do is tighten this up properly and take this end like this hold it like this make it roll like this take it like this if you want you can even cover your forehead forehead sorry you can even cover your head like this just to give it that pull and now we have this end here and then what you need to do is you can put a safety pin on this side but in this case uh, your cheeks are not getting covered but if you want your cheeks covered then instead of putting the safety pin on this side you can pull this on your face like this i'll show you If you are very much keen to protect your skin from sun, from air, from dust, if you are very much keen to protect your hair, these wrapping techniques are super. I guess this one would be really helpful for you guys in coming summers. Do use this. This one protects you from the excessive heat here in India. Yes, guys, that's it for the scarf tying techniques. But let me tell you, if you don't have scarf and if you have the dress dupatta, you can even use that and tie your face. just because the scarf which i have used has the same length as that of dupatta so you know the scarf is not something you need to have if you don't have you can even use the cotton dupatta preferably just because cotton is good in summers or else you can even have the other different material or fabric dupattas but the length should be a bit of more not very short because you need to cover entire things So yeah if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family obviously don't forget to subscribe my channel subscribing my channel would make you get the notification of all of my new videos and my vlogs coming up have a look on saturdays because i have a new vlog up every saturday and yes guys that's it for this video bye